And the main point for us this morning, do you believe that Jesus is the source of life? We're going to go from the mountaintops into water, and it's going to include some training. It's not just theory. And so turn to chapter 6 of John, and we'll start in verse 1 this morning. Sit everybody down and get them in groups. Then Jesus prays and distributes the bread and the fish, and they get as much as they wanted. So Jesus had presented the need, and he says, hey, participate with me in meeting this need. What do you think the lesson is? Hey, I want you to participate with me, but I know that you can't do it. The disciples participate with Jesus as he sees a need and meets that need. What does that sound like? Our definition for love. To see a need, to meet the need, and expect nothing in return. That's love. Boys, I'm going to give you a life lesson on loving people and loving a crowd, and you're going to meet their needs because I'm going to work with you. John's account of Jesus walking on the water is very unique because the story is not about calming the sea. It's about calming who? The disciples. What need did Jesus see? They're going to die. Things aren't going well. The bilge pump can't keep up. How does he meet that need? calms them down, and takes them right straight to shore. Though Jesus walking on the water account is seeing a need, meeting that need, and not expecting anything in, tr in return. He is loving them. Look what Jesus is doing. Hey, you guys want the manna thing replicated? That worked. God took care of them and met their physical needs. I am spiritual manna that gives eternal life. I've come down from heaven to give you true and eternal life. So the crowd answers, give us some of this bread. What is, what is Jesus telling him? You believe me as the bread of life. It's not up to you. The Father is going to call you to me. And when you come to me, I ain't losing you. I won't lose you, and I'll keep you. The God of the universe who was sent from heaven says, you choose me, I got you. And I am the source of life for eternal life. And Jesus says it incredibly plainly here. You're worried about eating and bread? Yeah, it was good stuff. I fed you all and I saw the need and met the need. But you understand that actually breathing, actually leaving, living is the work of the Holy Spirit. It just declares it as clear as day. To whom shall we go? He said, Lord, King, Ruler, to whom shall we go? We don't have nobody else. You are it. You are it. You have the words of eternal life. We believe what you're saying. And not only are they true what you're saying, they are for eternal life. We believed in you, Jesus. And not only did we believe in you, but we're, coming to, we're learning more about you. We're coming to know more and more about you. And we're also going to say, you are the Holy One of God. Whoa, Peter, the fisherman, Cliff notes of all great theology about Jesus. Listen, look how incredible a teacher Jesus was with his disciples. Took him through these life lessons, even being in the boat themselves, to get to this point. Do you believe that Jesus is the source of life? That's what he's asking the fellas. Do you believe me? I'm going to take you on a retreat. We're going to do it all together. And then at the end of the retreat, this is the main point. And the main point for us this morning, do you believe that Jesus is the source of life? And the main point for us this morning, do you believe that Jesus is the source of life?